వెల్కమ్ టు మున్సిపల్ అండ్ అర్బన్ అవేర్నెస్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ టుడే వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ ఆర్ లెట్ మీ నో సమ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రిగార్డింగ్ అర్బన్ వాటర్ సప్లై సిస్టమ్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ది డెఫినేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూస్ సిస్టమ్ ఆర్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ బై సెవెన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ బోత్ Uh, before that we have to know the what is the background of uh, water supply system in, in india just after independence in 1947 water supply situation in india cities was not satisfactory only 16% of the towns in india had protected water supplies environmental hygiene committee in 1947 given this report uh, which served 6.1% of the total population of 48.5 5% of the uh, then urban population since then the focus was shifted to improve the water supply system in country as a result access to improved source of uh, water has increased significantly from 72% in 1990 to 88% in 2008 in 2015 88% of the total population had access to at least to basic water that is 96% in urban areas and 85% in rural areas distribution of households according to the primary source of drinking water was reported in census 2011 which is showing as per niti ayog 2019 93% of india's urban population had access to basic water supply universal pipe water supply converges as the objective under the atal mission for regeneration and urban transformation amrut in 500 cities of india the mission was launched in 2015 by ministry of housing and urban affairs it aims to provide tap connection 1.1 crore new tap connections have been provided under amrut as next against the target of 1.39 crores connections one of the main objective of the recently launched amrutu 2.0 is to provide 24/7 water supply with the drink from tap facility in 500 amrutu cities there lies a great challenge ahead to supply continuous drinking water to every household with the functional water tap challenges faced by ulbs non availability of guiding document operation approach adapted for present guidelines have been given in the amrutu 2.02 let us can note a, what is a continuous 24 by 7 water supply continuous pressurized water supply is a solution for improving deteriorating quality problem in the country through the leaks in intermittent water supply outside contaminants enter pipeline during non peak hours owing to the vacuum that is developed inside pipeline thus water becomes non potable on contrary in 24 by 7 system due to pressure inside pipeline outside impurities cannot enter into pipe and the quality of water remains intact in most of the developed countries there is continuous water supply they operate their system by direct pumping with a practice of 100% consumer metering and telescopic tariff however in many developing countries like india water tariff is not volumetric way back in 1949 the environmental hygiene committee constituted by the government of india recommended to discourage intermittent water supply and promote 24 by 7 continuous water supply system in urban areas with the objective to prevent contamination of drinking water in piped water distribution system the merit 
demerits of an intermittent system and merits of 20 per watt supply will discuss later approach proposed for the continuous system the present system in the country operates on intermittent mode the goal should be to ultimately achieve the world class standards of continuous water supply with uh, mated functional tap connections to all households with a smooth to transition the guidelines recommends an approach for planning design and uh, upgradation of uh, urban water supply system to convert to existing intermittent mm-hmm. supply to 24 by 7 water supply system the reasons for uh, why the uh, promoting of uh, or existing of the intermittent system decentralized planning to overcome this uh, intermittent system decentralized planning system solves the complex problems by breaking it into smaller sub problems the city is divided into manageable zones called as operational zones which are further divided into sub zones called as district mated areas dmas dmas are progressively chosen for providing 100% consumer metering and with the bulk meter at entry of dma leakages leakages in chosen dmas are identified gets quantified and are removed the leakages in all dmas should be stopped and water that otherwise would be lost is saved which helps in increasing our of supply this is the basic principle of converting intermittent system into 24/7 each individual dma is tackled in this way and their combination combined success is increasing water supply duration finally converts an intermittent system of city to 24 by 7 water system for designing aspect of this 24 by water supply system the basic tool required is the gs based hydraulic modeling previously all the schemes are not designed based on the territory and the need base and geographical or topographical point of view now the guidelines recommends that you before designing of this uh, uh, schemes you have to follow the gs based hydraulic modeling designing it is observed that uh, water supply system in india are not being planned designed using geographic information system yes without gs it is not possible to assign ground elevations and uh, demands to large number of uh, nodes of uh, distribution system the ministry has published uh, advisory on gs mapping water supply and uh, sewerage infrastructure which may be referred to be for the same like gs without a comprehensive hydraulic model of a city no reforms can take place in the water supply sector hydraulic modeling is an essential tool for conversion to continuous system besides this the basic building blocks of 24/7 that is operational zones of dms needs gs based hydraulic model for design it is observed that the technique and see art of rational allocation of demands to the nodes of distribution pipe network is not uniformly practiced in the country the guidelines described the method for realistic distribution of the total design population total design demands in the various wards of the city based on equitable area forecasted density and by using gis technology so that nodal demands are accurately given for hydraulic modeling integration of geographic information system with appropriate network software is also discussed in the guideline 
Inclusion of design processor for 24 by 7 watt supply system that is as discussed about design of operational zones and districtimated areas. Unique of the present decentralized approach is to consider one operational zone for each service reservoir. This is achieved by grouping the reservoirs as per characteristics of terrain which becomes easily possible by use of JS tool. If the operational zone is not sized properly, it leads to malfunction of reservoirs like emptying and overlay. There are many inappropriate practices existing in distribution system of cities in India. For example, the existing distribution system of many cities. It is observed that two or three existing reservoirs are observed to combinedly serve a single excessive large operational zone. If the DMA which operational zones are not properly established, water audit is not possible. Prioritization of the leak repairs program is also not possible in absence of DMS in the existing distribution system. One of the neglected areas in water supply is the equitable distribution of water in the distribution system. Equitable distribution of water with the designed pressure is the important aspect of 24 by 7 water supply. It is achieved by whole to part approach. 